Hi, Periscope. Uh, we're live in the mic office. Uh, I'm going to touch base with the policy mic team and see uh, how the Super Tuesday results are going, um, if we can check in on exit poll results, um, any states that have finished, uh, closed their polling, uh, and any takeaways that we can get there. I'm going to touch base first with Jake. Give me one sec. What an exciting night. It's Super Tuesday in the Mike office. Uh, what a wild night so far. We have to say there's been a lot of really exciting trends and important trends. One thing that we're seeing is Hillary Clinton is dominating in the South. It was expected after her South Carolina win, but she's doing very, very, very well in places like Alabama, where she won already, and Georgia, where she won already, Virginia, where she won. She's having a big night. Bernie Sanders won in Vermont, which was expected. It's his home state. But outside of that, Hillary is doing quite well, and polls show that she um, is doing very, very well with uh, the, specifically that voters really want experience and that they value experience. And so Hillary Clinton is showing in all these states that she's been able to really capitalize on that. Seven in ten voters also said that they want a continuation of President Barack Obama's presidency. So she's really capitalizing on that well. And that is one reason why we've seen her hug President Obama so tightly throughout this campaign. So that's on the Democratic side. On the Republican side, it's also been uh, a fanfare and really Donald Trump is running away with it. Um, you know, it's something that we expected. There's been a few closer results than we expected in places like Virginia, but keep in mind, he's already won four states tonight, and this guy is somebody who was not even projected to be e even running a campaign uh, when, he, when he first launched, so he's doing quite well. He's winning all over the South. He's being seen as the anti-establishment candidate, and he's done very, very, very well. So that's what we're seeing. It's looking like a very, very big night for Hillary, very big night for Trump, and um, we'll, we'll be watching closely. Thanks, Jake. So once again, we're live in the Mike office. Uh, I'm Joel Pavelski. I'm the director of programming at Mike. We're going to be checking in with the Policy Mike team. So leave any questions that you have down in the comments, uh, anything about Super Tuesday or the results that we're seeing, and we'll try to answer as many of them as we can uh, from the experts that are working on the results right now. Hold on, I'm going to check in with Luke. Hey, Luke. How's it going? Good. Um, can you talk to me about the things that we're seeing with the establishment voters and the exit polls in the South? Sure. So I think what we're seeing is that there's broadly, on both sides of the aisle, a very different dynamic. On the Democratic side, people want experience, whereas on the Republican side, a strong majority of voters in the South are saying that they want a political outsider. And that's why you're seeing Donald Trump sweep these states. He's never held elective office, he's never run for elective office, and he's dominating in those states and beating out his competitors who have been in politics for, for decades or years. Let me ask you a question that we just got from a Periscope user. How much do superdelegates matter? Uh, it looked initially like they might matter, particularly when Bernie Sanders uh, was just about even with Hillary Clinton in the delegate count. I think after tonight we're going to see her with a pretty big lead in the pledged delegate count, and she already has the super de delegates with her, so it's looking more like Clinton won't even uh, need them after tonight. Uh, so they're not looking quite as important as they did a few weeks ago. Anything that you're particularly surprised by from the states that have already closed the polls? Uh, I'm not necessarily surprised, but I think it's worth noting that the race on the Democratic side is still too close to call in Oklahoma, still too close to call in Massachusetts, which is something of a silver lining for Bernie Sanders because he really needs to win those states to show that he can win more than just his home state tonight. Uh, by winning those states, it's not that he's going to derail Hillary Clinton, but he lives to fight another day, and so far it looks like he might be able to do it. Awesome, thanks. And with a question in it, uh, but I missed it when it was there. It was only up for a second. So if you are listening, please leave your question in the comments again. Sorry that I missed it. I'm going to check in with Celeste uh, next, who's our senior Trump correspondent. <laughs> <laughs> that, I, I, worked, I worked hard for that title. Thank yeah, you. no, I really think so. <laughs> uh, do you think there's anything after tonight that uh, the GOP has as a hope to defeat Trump, or do you think it's over? Well, I mean, they're talking about raising money. They're talking about getting people fired up to sort of resist this Trump juggernaut. But why weren't they talking about that months ago? Or right. why did they hold off? I mean, that's the question that people are going to be beating themselves up with. I mean, at the same time, you know, you have to look at this thing in a real way. People, Donald Trump is winning these primaries because somebody's voting for him. A lot of somebody's are voting for him. So if this is what the people want, 
Trump has managed to, to really tap into this kind of this rage, this, this visceral rage that people have, you know, that's somewhat similar to what people feel when they, when they support Bernie Sanders, but people are sick of the government taking them for granted, not helping them out, and, and this is how they're reacting. They're, they're, they're avenging themselves. Totally. So speaking of Bernie Sanders, one of the commenters on the Periscope stream just asked, how many of the five uh, states that are kind of in contention for Bernie do you think it's likely that he might actually win tonight? I mean, if you're, if you're looking at southern states, um, you know, Hillary Clinton has a lot of support from African-American voters. That has been a, you know, a traditional bulwark of the, the Clinton uh, campaigns, and I think that that will prove true tonight. You know, obviously, it, it enjoyed a uh, home field advantage in, in Vermont, but we're still waiting for the rest of the states to shake out. Okay, one last quick one sure. from the comments. Um, as somebody asks, uh, will the GOP split? Uh, will the GOP split between the, the pro-Trump and anti-Trump forces? I think it already has. I mean, the party, the job of the party ultimately is going to be to support whoever gets the nomination. Now, if people look at the Republican nominee and they're like, oh my God, we can't have this person, you know, somebody else might mount an independent campaign or people might throw money into stopping them, but ultimately somebody has to represent the party in November, so. Totally. Is it wiser for them to, you know, ultimately get together and, and make a decision go forward in, you know, in unity? Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, thanks, Celeste. Oh, thanks. Periscope. See, it's, we're keeping it real here at Mike. <laughs> I had awesome. no idea that I was just walking through a live broadcast on Periscope, but I did. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see, but she's wearing awesome tights. No, so, oh God. anyway, but we're focused on the election today. It's going to be crazy. Tune in later. Facebook, 9 o'clock, live. Be there. We're live on Periscope uh, in the Mike office. We're checking in on Super Tuesday results. I'm going to ask Stephanie. Senator. Hello. Hey, so which states have closed so far? What polls are we actually uh, confident so, of? So, uh, we have, uh, let me pull it up here, uh, Alabama, Georgia, Massachusetts, Oklahoma, Tennessee, Vermont, and Virginia. Uh, Oklahoma is the only one where you, it's too close to call for both sides. Uh, Massachusetts is too close to call on the Democratic side. And for the Republicans, it's Vermont and Virginia, which are still close races. Great. So who do you expect to win the slivers in those particular uh, states? Trump is leading by a pretty substantial margin in Virginia right now. It looks like there's some results that have still not come back from the D.C. suburbs, where Rubio has a pretty substantial lead, I think 45 to 17 in the exit polls. Uh, so it seems like the news organizations are waiting on getting more from the suburbs to make the call in Virginia. Uh, I'm not really sure what's going on in Vermont. It looks like Kasich made a pretty strong showing there. Uh, I'm not sure the latest numbers, but oh, it looks like he's about eight points behind Trump, but it's very early with only... Do you think it's going to be a drawn-out night, or do you think we'll kind of know really soon after the polls close across most of those states? Uh, hard to tell. It seems like it will be closer than maybe we anticipated, but uh, it's still very early, so... Great. Thanks. Thank you. Hi, guys. Uh, just to remind everybody, we're uh, live on Periscope from the Mike office. We're checking in on Super Tuesday results. Uh, I'm going to check in with Zeeshan. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Good. You're kind of our exit poll master tonight. Mm -hmm. Is there anything in particular that you're seeing that's surprising? Um, well, <clears throat> as far as some of the trends that we were seeing earlier in the night, we're still seeing as far as like really high turnout among black voters in the South. Um, Generally speaking, there haven't been huge sorts of demographic surprises uh, as far as who's kind of sort of leaning towards the Trump vote, but I mean, there's not really um, anything that's kind of uh, been jarring or defied our expectations on that front. Okay, sweet. Thanks a lot. Tuning in, everybody. We're going to be live on Periscope pretty much for the rest of our lives. So keep uh, your notifications turned on. Uh, follow us, obviously, at Mike News on Twitter, uh, and we'll keep the updates coming. Talk to you later. Bye.